band face as well. That true. Overall, nothing funky coming. Had to pull himself just round to the beeper's corner here. Benja, he's going for the grenades underneath. Nesk suffers and gets caught out by Jew. Maybe he was the first strike. The nook on the far end of the stair set has dropped themselves right round to the top here. There is, obviously, one player, Grizzly, on the far end. The pulse, he should just go for that. The C4 does not quite find its way through. The buck can't find it either. They're either side of a fight. They know each other's there, and it's Ask that comes around the corner, offers the support. Azuno suffers with the kit instead. Nook, slow creeping over the top, and you've still... The back end is able to get a freebie there. Just catches resets on the road. There's a quick trade out. Benja and Lagonas find each other's head from two stories in Palu and Ask. Both going around on the back end. They're going for a retake. They know at this point they cannot strike the site itself. It's still open. There is one player in CCTV. Do they know? Oh, they just got a taste. But unfortunately, the full bite was for Team Liquid. The spray of Doom just outside the window. The retake's coming across the board. They're there on the rotate. It's Palu to get it, leaving just Uno, the old vet, with two players, 15 seconds, and a split push here. They have it. Able to turn it around, even though everything's... Heroic. They're holding themselves outside the building a little bit longer, apart from Doom. Who's inside gets one. There's a C4 instantly back and well, here we go once again. Doom, he's creeping around the corner, sees the side of a Malusi and gets the drop inside. Fountain, he's cut the defense in half. Does he know those players to his right hand side? Or does he even care? He's looking towards the side. They come around the back and he should care now. A three versus three. Reset. They're right, trying to find even more fights. I get it, you want to live on that momentum, not give them an opportunity to reposition. As Palo finds one more, it's Benjamin Messer with a double kill himself, leaving it only up to Palu now, one of the most deadly players in the league. He will find one. Only up to Benja now. It's a 1v1 situation. Benja has been in many of these before. He's clutched out many as well, but he's getting spotted out. Takes a little bit amount of damage, but he still lives. Palu's going for a bit more of a passive approach right now. He does not. He's made the decision. The pings are hot. He's going to hold it off for now. There's the pop up. There's the pop down. The swing round. Palu wins it out. Up for the rest of his team, but he finds because that is something they did definitely suffer from. Making sure you take them down as early as possible, which they are doing currently with the help of Grizzly on the IQ. It's going to be giving them some help, but Benji dies first. That's the opening kill now for Liquid. That workshop now becomes a bit more, well, difficult to play in as a defender. Don't have to worry too much as resets gets taken out by Melu and C4s are being tossed up. Yeah, Uno suffered massively from a C4, but at the same time, resets get caught out. Look at the holder, Lagonis, there with the shotgun. Yes, they do, but it doesn't matter as Ask is able to find out Doom Grizzly. This is a big moment for him to maybe take a fight with Nesk, and Nesk, I think, realizes it. He doesn't want to overstress and overpressure. The pings are coming through. Melo's got the call. The player's pulled off. They've only got 20 seconds now to try and breach and break onto the site itself. There's a bit of an engagement on the other side. There's still pings, but without the caution being paid by Liquid. There's nothing they can do. Lagonis swings up, gets one, goes for the chase on the player that's got the kid inside. Uno gets caught out by Ask. And Melo with four to find. They're all... Doom did not expect it. Palu, he's in a bit of an engagement here on CC. Just slips away as Uno finds Nesk in the meantime. And Grizzly does find Ask. So once again on this site, the body advantage has fallen to Heroic, but they weren't able to lock it out last time. Up below, oh, the IQ sees it as well. I think that's the thing. The IQ saw that. They had the C4, and the Pulse actually made their presence known, but, well, there's the... Oh, no, what? How? Uh, you got to try and take some of the opponents to make up for a little bit of a slip of the left click, and it's Palu. Oh, great take, though, from Grizzly across the board. The smash on the wall. It's being watched, and it's watched. Lagonis has to swing round, has to drop. Resets is on the opposite corner. The C4's popped a bit early. 19 seconds, and Mello round on the back end. They're going to have to swing into the fight. Grizzly goes to try and take it and force the engagement. Mello's got to make a move. There's one. They're going to see if they can stick the kid in the meantime. They do not know. Quid is forced. Well, they're tucked on the corner, but it's Palu that gets the C4 over the top. Looks for the next on the rotation. They slip on by. They're pushing down the corridor. Ask's trying to meet him. Nesk's the one that's there. And here we're eyeing up maybe the first flawless round of the game. Again, not really too worried here. The liquid side, but the flawless is going to be denied. Who knows? But they did not know. Eyeing up the second. Looks away at the worst possible time. No! What? He finds Palu instead. I thought that was an easy pickup for resets. Lagonis, at least, is the back end of that. But what a bit of work. Mello has the cross angle from 90. Flirting with danger, I think it's fair to say. He hops off there and rotates down. Lagonis picks up one. The cover of Grizzly's gone. They're able to find another body. Doom caught as well. Suddenly, 
will turn into a very big gambit, massively paid off. A two versus two. Time still ticking away. The slight change, the cover of the flashes on the door itself. They're looking for the fight. The pings of the player, they're underneath oh, no. him. He sees the barrel of a gun. Ask. He's just scratched and scraped a little bit from the door. Hops somewhere slightly different. It's caught by Uno above 25 seconds. Lagonis, we talked about the impact and effect he's had on the roster. Can he have the biggest of all and find the fifth round here for Liquid? The drop comes down the hatch. Lagonis tucked around the corner, not blinded. They might be blindsided. He's going further and wide and wide. And there's the kick cold. Eight seconds. Lagonis picks up sticks and heads out of there. Mello has to deep dive all the way to the back of the room. But at this point, it's all Lagonis. Very doable. On the second time, the third might be the connection, but it's Grizzly. He gets one, gets dropped, and Palu underneath the post plant situation. The cover comes through. They just get the Monty, but they also just get the kit. Nesk and Palu, if you wanted two players in a clutch situation, they're the ones. And they're the ones left here, the three versus two. Can he long arm it? He has an angle, June. They've got the pings. The grenade has grenade. to be perfect. It is. The diffuser goes one more time, but so does. Benja, the single player left, it's Palu for his third of the round. He tucks on the corner and he's gonna go for the defuse outside the door. They can't get the angle, they're going for the fight. 11 seconds, he thought about locking the door. He has no other choice at this point. He is out of time. Team Liquid. If they are, comments doing. They're not leaving any room for error here for Heroic. Uno gets the first kill though. That's a great start. Nesk takes tons amount of damage as well but he manages to find his way back up to that top floor it's not going to be the side but it is safety nask he's slightly battered but not quite bruised i mean parley fair enough i think you've earned a sit out 10 to 3 has been an absolutely meteoric performance especially with how close some of those early rounds felt nask gets picked up too uno bit of a grudge round bit of a grudge match right now Seeing if they can still try and fish some more players out. Is he going to get a third and a fourth? It's June with the cover cross. There's the call. There's just the tail of a fourth that pulls themselves away. Lagonis driving deeper and deeper into the site itself or across the bow of it. Reset suffers next. He tried to hop in the window. Caught out. Two versus five. Two versus four. Lagonis, he is between a rock and a hard place. And both of them seemed armed to the teeth. So instead takes the rotate round. 2v4, we've seen him clutch these out before, but on the defense. He sets in Lagones. Here's them up on the top floor. They know they need to be careful for the verticality. That grenade could be massive, but Uno gets his triple kill. So only one left on the clock, and it's going to be Benji. But Liquid, they can afford to. Oh, wow. Well, here's the pressure. Here's the quick burst. And there's Uno to bite back. Gets one. Gets the second covered by Grizzly there, right on the window. They're trying to find at least one back on the top, and Ask does take care of Benji. A bit of a two-story attack and presence there. The problem is the kit's inside and no other players really are at this point. Palu and resets. Palu. <laughs> it's just left Grizzly with a triple kill. Buried inside the back. Now they're going to see if they can try and swing the fight round. Palu, he's got some candelas left. They went for another risk and they do get one out the end of it. Uno. He got a little bit cute, a little bit eager with the chance at the fight on the window. But a minute 40 and, well... We still have a lot left to do, technically. Now, Paulo does have an LMG still in hand. Yes, they received a bit of a nerf, but I don't think that the LMG of Ying has taken big of a... ...completely on point. He's still going for it, still finds it. Brings it back to a 1v2. And I know we just talked about it. If the man goes for a clutch, he knows exactly what to do. And this one is heroics to screw up. Again, a bit of information coming through. He might be aware that the last person is up on that top floor. Chance for a Capcom Traps, so you never know. Hume gives away his position now, so this is definitely telling Palu, hey, last one is top four, one is going to be on side. If you win at that good fight, which he does, he might clutch out the game. Ford and Bajoom from above has an angle towards the diffuser. Is Palu aware? It's almost stun silence yes. now. He has the awareness. He has the fight. Some scratch damage done. The kit's his. He 